How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today is the big day. It's bright and early today and we are taking the Honda to Dino. So this is future Drew. This all happened about a month ago and I'm gonna let you guys know what happened. In yesterday's video Danny had it set pretty safe because we didn't get to actually Dino it uh, the first time around. So he had it pretty set or he had it set pretty safe. We had a rev limiter to 6,000. It probably made 250 horsepower to the wheels uh, which is still plenty of fun. But uh, now I think she'll be hopefully making, I, again, I don't want to jinx myself, but last time I did this, it didn't work. And hopefully it ain't going to work again, dipshit. You done jinxed it. And the boost by gear will be set up. The check engine light was for a vehicle speed sensor. So when we get there and we have it jacked up, I'm going to crawl under and maybe finagle with it. But I, I think some water or some coolant just got in there. So it might even be fine right now. It might have all dried up. So we'll just have to see. Anyways, I'm waiting for my ride, aka my dad, <laughs> to come to my house uh, so we could head over there. And then he can drive me back because uh, Danny's going to take all day playing with it. And I don't want to be breathing down his neck while he's working. So drop it off. Let him do his magic. We'll come towards the end when he's finishing up and we can see the last couple power poles. We'll just see what this bad boy can do. Place your bets down below right now. And let's see by the end of the video who's right. If you're right, you get a cookie. You ain't getting no damn cookie. I did have a lot of fun yesterday driving it. I can only imagine today. Uh, we got the alignment yesterday. I didn't film while we were there. I accidentally left the camera in the car. So when it was up on the lift, there's nothing I could do. But the uh, alignment looks great. We got some good fitment up front, a little bit of camber. The rear looks pretty nice as well. I mean, it's, it's a good looking little Honda right now. Um, when we get back from Dino, I'm gonna try to get the hood to close completely. Um, <coughs> Sorry, car. I will back away slowly. I'll try to get the hood to close completely just for the ultimate sleeper look. Uh, just, I mean, it's just, it's so low key. I love it so much. Oh God, it looks so good. Mm, back when Honda made good looking cars. But yeah, we'll go drop it off. And then I got a couple errands to run. It is Valentine's Day. So anyways, I'll see you guys eventually. This is the last remaining footage I have driving the Honda with this motor. RIP, what's about to come? Hey, past Drew, you see that smoke, you dipshit? You kept pushing it with that smoke coming out? Are you fucking stupid? Were you dropped on your head, Drew? What were you thinking? So, obviously, there's smoke coming out of the background, as you guys will see on these dino poles. We had a couple guesses for what was causing it. Um, if you remember, it's been smoking kind of since day one. So ultimately, I think the motor was just bad. However, a couple of our other hypothetical possibilities were the turbo drain wasn't draining efficiently because the car was kicked up in the air and the way the motor sits in the engine, it was probably backed up with oil. That was a possibility. Another possibility was the turbo was getting too much oil. So we actually put a restrictor on it, which we may or may not need. But lastly, ultimately, I think there was a pre-bent valve and uh yeah she didn't survive the night okay so we're gonna leave the honda here for the night danny's gonna start ramping in the boost on its lowest boost setting we're gonna be making 330 wheel horsepower so we're not gonna have traction but it'll it, you guys remember when drew buzzed his head like an idiot we're not gonna have traction it yeah gonna that's not the cut drew definitely grow that shit back it's it's not gonna have traction so we'll see tomorrow what it makes and we'll pick it up we'll have some fun okay so let me fill you guys in really quickly with what happened that night so motor ended up making 456 horsepower at the wheels plenty of power and then a valve shit the bed we don't know 100 percent why it shit the bed but once again i think the motor was just bad from day one it was smoking it kind of sounded like it was misfiring i think a few of you guys heard that shit too that's our best guess so i went out bought a new k24 swapped over my parts Put that bitch in, uploaded the tune, and here we are. She's healthy as a horse. Let's check it out. All right, so we're in the finished, finely tuned K24 Turbo Civic, making over 400 wheel horsepower. I'm gonna be gentle on here. I don't have boost by gear set up, so I am gonna be very, very gentle on here. My tachometer also does not read right, or my speedometer. My tachometer reads reads mint but my speedometer don't listen to it it's gonna show i'm going like 100 in a second and i'm not joking i won't be going 100 
But yeah, let's see what this bad boy can do. Finally, Project Sleeper, whatever you want to call it, K24 Turbo Civic. <laughs> I didn't even do anything yet. Don't want to miss a shift. She sounds so good. I'm going to roll up the windows a little bit. Oh my God, she sounds so good. The window's a little dirty. I do got to wash it. I will be doing that later today, but I, want, I was just so eager to drive the car that I figured we got to take this bad boy out. Dirty as can be. Let's find someone to kill. Not literally, but their car. That looked like Drake Bell. Dead ass. Drake Bell, you driving a Camry? A little Charger or something would be great right now. I have the window up and it's like 90 degrees out and I have no AC, so I just want you guys to know I'm doing this because I love you guys. I'm doing this for the love of you guys. I see a Challenger right there. I don't think he'll be challenging me though. It's a V6, it ain't even worth the shit. Let's see, let's see if we can hear just uh, some turbo noises right here, right? We'll downshift a little bit. Just Let's just get on it just a little bit. Uh, oh my God. I, I barely heard VTEC crack right there. She's nutty. Dude, this thing is going to be scary. I already know. It was already scary before with like the 300 horsepower on the Nitro setup. Adding another 100 on a dyno that reads lower too? Oh, it's gonna be terrifying. Where I really think this car will be fun, other, like compared to my other cars I should say, is the streets. Like, as long as we stop hitting goddamn fucking red lights, I think this car will be fun. I've hit like four already in a row. And I didn't think we were gonna hit one right there, but whatever, it'd be like that I guess. At least we're in the front right here, so. And we can, we can try to, you know, stretch our legs a little bit. Try to stretch him just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. I gotta get used to this clutch. obviously can but that draws so much attention this little sleeper the little honda nah ain't nobody batting batting their eye at the honda ain't nobody looking at this thing of it um he's gonna say i'm stupid because it's too much power for a honda he's a, he's a purist 200 horsepower to him <coughs> at the wheels is plenty of power for a honda in his eyes for fun and it is but you know 400 is just double the fun so yeah let's go to his house and we'll we'll, we'll save the beating on it until then unless i find like a camaro or a fiat that wants to get fucking creamed race car coming through Look pretty you're gonna, sick. You're gonna see him, and then he's got that Mustang that's yeah. got the same wheel and tire set up, and he parks him right there, dude. He must have some serious anti theft shit because he's off a salvage speed, bro. And yeah. he has him right there on the corner. Like, every fucking head everyone sees on it. that shit, man. Yeah. yeah. Every fucking header's gotta be fucking. Dude, in the so, what gear do you think would be 
best. For this? Yeah. Like third? Depends on your rolling uh, speed, but I mean. I mean, I'm just gonna ease on it. So one of the spark plugs was gapped incorrectly, so I pulled it out, regapped it, and now it runs right. So this is now full power. Oh. All right, let's see how third gear feels. Also, really quickly, but I just gotta say it, all these seats make me look so fucking fat. Like, I already know I'm a little on the heavier side. I really need to slim down. But I have to, like, recline these NRG seats a little bit more than I normally would because I, I'm just, like, too tall for the car or for these seats. Dude, it's so fast. I'm not even... A, I'm afraid to go wide open throttle. I don't think it'll hook. It's, I don't think. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna hook. I, I, like, it definitely needs boost by gear. Can I make a U turn right here? It says no U turn, but straight. All right, we're gonna gap this Solera. We're gonna give him the hit. Uh -oh. Too soon, Junior. When he gets a third, one second. I need to make sure I can hook. All right, we can hook. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, my phone flew off the mount. I don't know where the mount went. Oh my god! Yeah, I just don't want. I, I'm out of loss of words. Too soon, Junior. Okay, the piece is on your side. I'm okay with it being on your side. I just don't want it on my side. People that push like a thousand in front wheel drive Hondas, I don't even know how the fuck they do it. That's insane. Can we, what is that, an Ultima? Uh, I thought it was a Charger. Damn. I mean, we could bully him. You know, they drive might, crazy. Might be, a V6. might be the V6 Ultima. We'll eat him up. But yeah, no, I mean, it's, watch, just third gear, just. <laughs> I, yeah, that road sucks, but I just, I eased onto it. We didn't even get to wide open throttle and just immediately breaks loose. I need tires. I need slicks. So yeah, the Honda seems to be good now. Um, it hasn't had any issues besides that one spark plug issue, but we got that resolved. It's running really healthy. I talked to Danny and it already does have boost by gear, so... Yeah, I just need tires, 100%. So anyway, sorry it took a while to get this Honda content out to you guys. I'm really excited to have some fun with this car. I've just been dealing with the McLaren. I have a track day on Friday, so I had my buddies actually do a lot of the work for me. I would say all the work. They did all the work for me for the Honda. So shout out to them. Shout out to Andy. Shout out to Kevin. She's running good right now. Of course, shout out to Danny for getting it running right with the tune. It runs super smooth, makes great power. Couldn't have done it without him. Now let's go bully some people. <laughs> 